Next question is from Land3 Emma. Is foam rolling good for recovery? And can it help you recover faster? Sure. Yeah, I well, think I love it for this. This actually. is so they do studies on massage. So that that would that's where you're gonna find the studies that'll that'll point to this the best and say, okay, does massage help with recovery? Um, it's hard to measure that because there's perceived pain, in which case massage helps because you feel like you're less sore. Is it actually speeding up recovery? I don't know. I think it can, but not because it's it's it, the foam rolling or massage itself is reducing uh, the inflammation or making the recovery faster. I think the fact that you feel less pain, now you move more, and that is what I think facilitates recovery. Oh, that's an interesting theory. Yeah, because I know mm. I know if you just sit still, you're not going to recover as fast as so if you, you have I can see that from being restrictive, like after a workout, like I feel tired, like and, and you're less likely to uh, get that circulation that really yeah. is the part of the recovery process, but. Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it'd be interesting to see if you could like manually manipulate. Uh, uh, I don't know how. Well, you would... could test that. The way yeah. you would test that is you would actually you would massage a group of people and then they would lay in bed and do nothing, mm -hmm. oh. right? And then you would massage another group of people and they would go about their day. And then you would not massage somebody that's who, and so all of them would need to be really sore, right? So the goal would be, you know, overtrain, overreach, get everybody like really sore, so legs, right? Real easy doing that with squats or something, right? So you get everybody really sore. You have one group that gets massaged and then goes about their day, so they keep moving around. You have one group that gets massaged, lays in bed, doesn't do anything, and then you have another group who doesn't do either one of them, right? And then you measure to see how, what the recovery process is. Yeah, what their performance yeah, is. Yeah, you know, the, the more I think about it, I think, Sal, your theory makes a lot of sense. Like, it's, it's probably less to do with the actual massage itself because, I mean, it's somebody who used to get massages all the time, I mean, that's what Katrina did, right, when we first met, Um uh, you know, you you train and you're really sore. I mean, everyone's like trained legs, and then you had a day where you're just like, oh, you, yeah. you, you're oh. like shuffling around. Yeah, you're yeah. stiff when you move, and you so you 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 probably limit the amount you move around because of how sore you are. Versus, not, you've if you've ever experienced a great massage like that, and you walk out, and you're like, oh my god, my hips are opened up, and you feel good, and you kind of go about walking. So. That's probably you're probably right. The, the even if there is some science to support that it's doing something for recovery, it probably has more to do with the movement and the blood flow, oxygen, and nutrients getting uh, afterwards. Yeah. And right? it depends on how it's being done, like deep tis tissue massage, or you know when people you ever seen those foam rollers that are like made out of wood, or when people go crazy with it, yeah. with with the, super with like the knobby one. Yeah, like when yeah. you go deep enough with I've massage, been CrossFit, uh, or you know foam rolling, you are causing damage. You yeah. are causing a little bit, not like when you're working out, but you can cause some muscle damage. I don't think that's going to speed up recovery. I, I really do think it has more to do with the fact that you, because the pain is reduced, just like stretching. I think stretching would do the same thing. Stretching gets me to move. Trigger sessions. I think you're moving. You feel less pain. You move more. That facilitates recovery. Staying in bed, not moving due to whatever reason, whether it's because you're being lazy or because you're too sore slows down recovery. It blunts the ad uh, adaptation uh, signal. It blunts the muscle building signal because you're not moving. Like if you got really, really sore and then did not move at all, you you're, you might recover, but you're not going to build any more muscle because the signal you're sending from not moving is going to probably overpower the workout that you just did. You know, If I hammered my legs on Monday, didn't move till the next Monday, I guarantee I wouldn't get stronger. I probably get weaker. What is it called? Is it raking or reeking? The the, the most reiki. Uh, yeah, the most aggressive intervention that people do, and they get all bruised. Rolfing. Rolfing. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, reiki is uh, is like energy. Oh. Like they don't touch you. I went to the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why this is all like, you know. Uh, I thought you were supposed to weird. touch me. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you going to put gloves on? Yeah. Uh, when does the pain start, guys? Hand hocks. I can't keep my hands off of them. Yeah. <laughs>